day after the Supreme Court Bar Association President Adish Agarwal wrote to President Draupadi Murmu seeking a presidential reference on the electoral bonds verdict, the Executive Committee of the Bar Association has gone ahead and disassociated itself from the letter and its president. The Bar Association, in fact, has condemned the contents of Agarwal's letter, calling it an attempt to overreach and undermine the authority of the Supreme Court. The panel made it abundantly clear that the members of the committee have neither authorized their chief to write any such letter nor subscribe to the views expressed therein. Remember, on Tuesday, uh, the SCBA president had sought a presidential reference on the apex court judgment on the electoral bonds case, claiming the court had created a constitutional stalemate. Joining me now as to what really this all means for the Supreme Court Bar Association is Vikas Singh. He's the former president of the Supreme Court Bar Association, himself an eminent senior lawyer. Mr. Vikas Singh, what do you think should be done in a case like this? If the SCBA president is writing on a letterhead of the SCBA and asking for a presidential reference in a case as sensitive as that of electoral bonds and seeking a review of it, do you believe he's doing it in his personal capacity or is he doing it under pressure from someone or simply to seek publicity? So, uh, Rajdeep, uh, uh, firstly, uh, to put the facts correctly, it was not on the letter pad of the SCBA, but yeah, at the end of the letter, he writes Adi Shakarwal, President of Supreme Court Bar Association. So, yes, I stand maybe correct. not on the letter pad, but definitely he is uh, projecting as the President of the Bar writing that letter. So, that is one. As far as the uh, conduct of Adi Shakarwal is concerned, Adi uh, Rajiv, you have to understand that he is one lawyer who has no stakes in the Supreme Court. He is not a Supreme Court practitioner. You never see him practice in Supreme Court. He has got into the election uh, because of, uh, you know, division of votes. And there are some votes which are not really of uh, practitioners of Supreme Court. And that's how he's got in. And that's why the Supreme Court is actually examining mm -hmm. to prune the voters list and to ensure that only the actual voters practicing in Supreme Court, uh, you know, uh, vote for an election. And also, so the Supreme Court is examining whether person who has no stay, uh, say in the uh, affairs of the Supreme Court, can he be con uh, allowed to contest as president? So all that will go before the general body. If the general body is not able to take a call, mm -hmm. a decision to call the Supreme Court itself will take that call. But, but is it? The, but 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 the suspicion is that the SCBA president is taking a par politically partisan stand. He should be standing up for the bar for the lawyers. Instead, by doing what he did, he was seen to be taking sides in what is a very politically contentious issue. So I think it was highly inappropriate for him to do something like that. And uh, I, when I say uh, that he can, it's not only that he has to intervene in affairs of the bar, but he also has to affair intervene in affairs of the uh, you know institution like we did when in my first tenure as president mm -hmm. when the judges went on this uh, you remember that uh, uh, press conference yes we held a meeting and i didn't decide anything on my own i called the executive committee meeting we discussed everything at the thread bear and we decided that we must pass a resolution we did pass a resolution and we said that there should be a system of uh, uh, roster Mm -hmm. And Rajdeep, if you'll remember, the roster came only on the basis of our recommendation as as uh, Supreme Court Bar Association. So this kind of an action can be taken in, in larger public interest or if to save the institution or if there are, uh, you know, something to do with the rule of law. But you can't in your individual capacity start writing uh, letters using the stamp of the Supreme Court Bar Association, even though it may not be on the letter pad. Right. But at least at the end of the letter, when your name is being mentioned, you say President of Supreme Court. So obviously you are wanting to use the position of the President so, of the Supreme Court Bar. In, in, in conclusion, what happens time. next? In conclusion, what happens next? Because the worry is that all of this, all of this sullies the reputation, credibility of the Supreme Court uh, and, and indeed the judicial system. So, Rajdeep, there is a very strong move to remove him as president by calling a general body, although I am personally against it, because I feel that, uh, you know, it's a one-year tenure and he should be allowed to continue his tenure. But he has already been, you know, uh, uh, ridiculed and uh, insulted enough by his executive committee. And any self-respecting president mm -hmm. would have resigned, because this is not the first time that the executive committee has, you know, rebuked him. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, third or fourth time that he has been done, that the executive committee has done that. So it's a very, very sad state of affairs. The way he has uh, conducted himself right. really establishes that uh, the association now should be very particular or careful 
in electing people to the post of the president of the bar because the president of the bar enjoys a very special position the entire country right all the bar associations look up to the supreme court bar association we actually have uh, worked as a model bar and uh, rajdeep i don't know whether you're aware the supreme court bar has never gone on strike since independence so we have we are one bar association where we feel that and and to that extent so i hope have, I hope, therefore, that you all will continue to maintain those high standards, and I hope that Mr. Agarwala will have an adequate explanation. Otherwise, as you all, are, as you are saying, there is a strong move even to remove him from his post. But let's leave it there, Vikas Singh, for giving us a sense of how the other lawyers feel about this. Thank you very much for joining me here on the news today.